Nothing is gonna work because my legs are too short. Well, I'm the opposite. My legs are long, but my torso is short. Nothing works for me either. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Having a short torso definitely can be a challenge to look proportionate. My name is Chi. I'm 5'2". My torso is shorter compared with taller women. Let's dive right in. The common mistakes styling short torso. Skinny belt. Here's the thing I noticed. Women with shorter torso, a lot of us don't have waist definition. And the reason is quite simple. Because our torso is shorter, there just is not enough space to accommodate the in and out of having a waistline. And therefore, it's very tempting for us to try to use a belt. The problem with skinny belt, it's very tricky if you don't have a waist to begin with. Especially if the belt is very contrasting color to what you're wearing underneath. The first thing people are gonna notice is that belt and that's exactly gonna bring attention to the fact that you don't have a waist. You might be thinking, well Chi, what about a wider belt? Unfortunately, that's not gonna work either. Because our torso is shorter, if you use a wide belt, this is gonna take up too much space on your torso that's already too crowded. Especially if you have a shorter torso and if your bust is big, this is gonna look very unflattering on you because the entire torso looks like has been occupied by one giant wide belt. If you're petite, make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4". Ever since I discovered like petitedressing.com, my style went from this to this. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench, on the bench, spinning on the back, like here I go again. Contrasting outfits. One of the most flattering ways to dress someone with a short torso is to blur the line between your torso and your legs. Because if your top and the bottom are very similar colors, the eye is not gonna be able to notice how short your torso is. And that's why monochrome outfits are so flattering for your shape. And for the same reason, anything that's a one piece, for example, dresses or jumpsuits, they're gonna be very flattering for your shape because it's one same color of columns from top to toe, and that's gonna blur the definition of your top and your legs and making the eye notice less about your short torso. But on the other hand, if you're wearing separates, and especially if your top and the bottom are completely different colors, that does exactly the opposite. And this is gonna call out to the eye to pay attention to the fact that your torso is short Deep V-neck. Don't get me wrong, I love V-neck lines, especially because my face is rounded. Anytime when I wear higher neckline, for example, turtleneck, make my face look even more rounded and it make my face look more flashy. Because of that, normally I go with a lower neckline and V-neck is one of them. However, what I noticed is a lot of times V-neck tend to be too deep for me because my torso is short. Just like this. Even though this is a gorgeous designer piece, but the V-neck just look awkward on me because of my short torso. One, it's constantly gonna show the top of my bra. But even if I wear it without a bra, this still look disproportionate on someone with a short torso. Crop jackets. Crop jackets are heaven sent for those of us who want to make our legs look elongated. So here we have to separate these two different scenarios. Scenario one is, if you're like me, my torso is shorter compared with taller women, but because my rise is long, rise measures the distance between your waist and your crotch. This is the part that determines how long your legs are. My legs are actually short. In this scenario, crop jackets can be extremely flattering because it highlights the fact that your torso is short and therefore make your legs look longer than they actually are. Now the second scenario, this is where the crop jackets can work against you. If you have shorter torso and if you have a shorter waist. So that means your waist is short and the legs are very long. If this is you, when you wear a shorter crop jacket, this is gonna highlight how short your torso is and therefore can make your torso look disproportionate compared with the length of your legs. Also, because women with shorter torso tend to have wider torso. And there's another thing very important. Having shorter torso can make your upper body look wider. Because it's shorter, so it can make it look like a squarish figure. Wearing crop jacket can emphasize that. Because a crop 
that jacket also happens to be a squarish looking figure and that can make it look even more obvious that your entire upper body looks like a square or rectangle. Paper bag, anything. Paper bag is such a huge trend. But for those of us with shorter torso, you gotta be extremely careful. And a lot of times, you really gotta just skip this style altogether. The reason is because high rise, typically we're talking about 10 inch and above rise, is already tricky if you have a short torso. But on top of that, paper bag is even higher because paper bag got extra fabrics on top of the regular high rise. So this is like double ultra high rise. And on someone whose torso is already short, most likely a paper bag pants is gonna probably reach above your rib cage. And if you also happen to have bigger chest, well, this can completely make your torso look like it has disappeared. Like I mentioned earlier, having a shorter torso doesn't necessarily mean that you have short waist. You could be like me, your torso is shorter compared to taller girls, but your waist is long. And therefore, compared with your legs, that can mean your torso is relatively long compared with your short legs. I know, I know, this all can sound too much information and too confusing. And that's why I made another video about this topic to take a deeper dive into whether or not you have a short waist. So watch this video, the five signs that you actually have a short waist.